after years of searching, it's finally in my possession. Now you might be wondering what this item is. Well, I guess you guys are going to figure out today. All right, so what's up guys? It's Duck here, AKA Troublesome Junction. And this is basically going to be an unboxing video of me taking out what I had recently purchased. It is a Thomas item that I've wanted for a very long time. And I guess if you are on my Instagram, by the way, if you aren't, you should follow me at troublesome underscore junction. Um, I had posted a video that was alluding to this and well, here it is. This is a Thomas item that I have wanted for, I kid you not, years at this point. And now that I'm finally able to get my hands on it and unbox it, add it to the collection, it feels really good. But there is a little bit more that I will go into when it comes to this because, well, all I'll say is that it is not in peak condition. All right. So, coming in for the unraveling, we get fucking, fucking rainbow track. Y yay! I guess this kind of, you know, well, here, here, here's the main thing. I'm gonna take it out. All right, here he is. He's coming out. Here he is, boys. It is the Hornby battery powered slash clockwork Thomas. Congratulations to Chandler's Railway, Train Guy Rye, Jacobs Branch Line 672, LBSC 71, Lulbate Craft 19, and Fancy Engine for guessing what the engine was before I revealed it. Hope you all enjoy your prizes of ridiculous photoshops. This thing, when I tell you I have wanted this son of a bitch for a long time, both this version and the clockwork version, which I am going to get both, um, actually all variants of them because I really do want it. I have wanted this for such a long time because this is Hornby's best and most accurate body shell to Thomas the Tank Engine. I don't know why they didn't just use this for their, for their uh, normal Thomas. But as you can see here, he's not in peak condition. You know, he's missing his fucking dome for one, which kind of annoyed me. He's missing all of his buffers, which I am going to have to go and replace. And then one of his spokes, I remember it being cracked and picked up. There it is. It's a... Uh, Right, uh, right there, if you can, you can see it. Up oh, there, there it is, you can see it. Um, yeah, but the face, man, look look at that face. You, Bachman, hey, uh, do me a favor and stop making that, uh, god-awful face that you've been producing for, like, what, 20, 20 years now or something like that? Please change it. So that's this guy. Oh, uh, there is something I do want to test. Easy track, Bachman Easy Track. This thing is HO slash 00 scale compatible. I have not seen anyone point out that fact about specifically the battery powered one with the spoke wheels because normally they have the uh, flat wheels and they don't have the spokes in them. Um, I do want to get both variants because one of them, they both run on different gauges of track, but this one is HO scale compatible, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted it. He's such a little, so charming. I love this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna put Thomas out of the way right now. He can, yeah, this drone can move. He can go on the switch case. And we got a bunch of track, which we'll go into that a bit later. I guess I'll take it all out on camera. Okay. Oh, here's something different. Uh, this was uh, Birdie, because this is from the uh, figure eight set that came with Thomas, Annie, Clarabelle, and Birdie. But here's the thing that I was kind of alluding to earlier. These things are in very rough condition, as in their mechanisms and stuff. I don't know why the seller didn't take out the damn batteries, but just, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is, this is every Thomas collector and just collector in general's worst nightmare. The corrosion in this thing is fucking horrendous. Like, I can't even pry this thing out. That's how bad it is. I don't, even in the product pictures, the seller left the batteries and I was like, bro, you, you gotta, you gotta do something about that? Birdie, he, he's the thing. It's, it's the guy. Actually, it's a really nice Birdie face. I love the earlier seasons of, you know, Birdie's face and merchandise really doesn't capture him that well. So this is, this is probably going down as one of my favorite Birdies I own. But here's Birdie, lovely to have him in the collection. One thing that's weird, look at him compared to Thomas. He's fucking huge. I mean, I get it. He's, he's housing a whole unit, but still, he's pretty big. All right, Mr. Um, Corrosion Explosion, you can go over there with um, domeless engines. 
Um, okay. So we have more track. More track and a station. Um, I'll probably show off that stuff later. Here's the giant hill piece right here. What the... F what is this? Oh my gosh, it's the freaking manual for it. My gosh, this is very old paper. It feels very old. I like at least they had the fucking decency to laminate this. Because, you know, everything else has been just kind of like... Yo, the batteries, yeah, they're just completely fucking blown up, but we'll just leave them in there. I still don't regret buying this, though, because I feel like I definitely can fix the corrosion problem. This one, I think, is Clarabelle, because Clara Annie is the one that has the the motor, and this looks like it feels too light to be a powered unit. Yep, it's uh, Clarabelle. Man, the paint on this thing, it's so weird. It's like a very glossy, sloppy-ish paint that gives it like a wood finish, which... I don't know. I kind of like it in a weird way. Look at this. She's fucking huge if you compare her to Thomas, but you know, I think, I mean, I guess that does kind of make sense because they are a little longer. I don't know. There's something about these that they're just so charming. Don't know why they didn't give these HO wheels. I actually might go in and see if I can possibly do that or not. I don't know. But there is Clarabelle. Nice, nice, nice. Now, let's see if we can find Annie. Is this Annie? I want to say this. What is this? This is a pack of accessories. Alright, let's see. Um. Oh, this is um Annie's motor. Yeah, and it has like um several other add-ons and doodads. This looks like a signal, the base to birdie. And this, uh, I don't, I don't know what the fuck that is, but I guess we'll figure it out eventually. Okay, so after further analysis, I found out that this piece looks like it's just meant to brace this area with the gear on it. Because Birdie has one, so I'm assuming this one goes on Annie. And there's the backside to um, Annie right there. And here is Annie's chassis. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out down the line. And last but not least, we have Annie herself. Let's get her out. You got, I gotta give credit where credit is due. The seller did not cheap out on the bubble wrap. I like sellers who take the time to make sure their shit is secure. Okay, here is the powered unit of Annie. Look at that. Freaking goddamn blowjob ass face. Whatever. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not... Oh, that makes me want to vomit. That's so bad. Oh, uh, the corrosion in these things is god-awful. What did this seller do to these things? It's just like a buildup of salt. How do you let corrosion get this bad? And for those of you wondering, I paid for this entire set up around $30. So, you know, if it was like they were charging full price for this thing, you know, I'd be pissed. But, oh, look at the gears in that thing. This is... Oh, sheesh, that's not... Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's so bad in there. Let me see if I can get it closer. This gear system has, like, so much hair in it. It's all stiff. I might just have to end up replacing this entire unit and just saying, fuck it, make it in into a dummy unit. I don't know, but that's that. And let's see, we have more rainbow track. And this is the green signal. I mean, not signal, but the level crossing. Okay, but like the motors might be completely destroyed, but look how smooth this crossing gate is. And one and two, and one and two, and one and two. These things are like this is really smooth. You know, not capsule play rail one. Move out of the way. You got some got some stiff competition here. This is great. Check out this hill piece though. Just look at all the little details on it. You don't see stuff like like this reminds me of early Thomas Wooden Railway. And it's just, it's just some really charming stuff. Like, you can't beat this. This is, this is what, I don't know. This just screams old Thomas. This, like, gives me wooden railway vibes. And it's such a, such a vibe. All right, I'm going to open up the little tiny station that's in here. Because I remembered having, like, a whole platform and whatnot. It might be, I don't know. I think the platform is, yeah, it must be these little incline sections here. But I won't open those. Um, here's the station. It looks... Yeah, it's very basic. <laughs> Why is the fucking awning so big? It's just, I don't know. I look at this thing, and it looks like someone with an oversized hat on or something. I don't know, it's pretty funny. Okay, so I've been giving uh, Annie and Birdie some further analysis. 
And Annie just is completely, you know, salted in. There's no way that I can see any access points of how I could try and get this thing out and, you know, try and service it. But, you know, just looking at Birdie, you know, the motor right here is just completely rusted. It won't even move. If you try and like turn this little gear here, yeah, it, it won't move at all. So I do think that these pieces are, unfortunately, they are beyond repair and I'm not gonna be able to service them. Thomas, I can definitely fix up and still use, but I might end up having to just go on eBay. I know there's a you know thing where I can buy Annie and Clarabelle, so not really too worried about that if I ever do wanna use them on the battery powered set. But unfortunately, Birdie over here, he's going to end up being a, a sitter. But he's still a very nice piece. He's going to definitely go on my model railway. He's definitely going to be bigger and kind of out of scale. But I just like this Birdie. This is a very nice Birdie. But unfor it's very unfortunate because I did. W I would have liked to have you know, seen him running around and whatnot. But it's just nothing I can really do unless I were to just completely go in and replace every single thing which would end up probably being more expensive than this itself but it doesn't really necessarily bother me it's more or less pretty disappointing and sad to see these toys got to this state because it looks like the previous seller or whoever had this prior played with them in water because if we pull up uh annie here you can just look inside of her you know these parts like these it looks all bubbly and watered out and corroded on the inside it looks like this was a paper cutout for the people, and this thing just happened to take a swim, which, if this was owned by a child, which I assume so, then that's pretty understandable. It's very sad to see these ama truly amazing pieces of merchandise fall to this state, but rest assured, they are going into a home that genuinely loves these things for being just existing. I love this line so much. So... I will end up probably having an update. I might try and go through and at least fix Birdie, but as for Annie, I might just end up going through and replacing her and just having this one, you know, be a shelf sitter or whatever. It's still a very nice piece to just look at and put on the model railway shelf and whatnot. But yeah, just kind of disappointing, I guess. Well, I guess that would just leave here to put up all the tracks and just kind of mess around with them and whatnot. And, you know, see, just see everything of how it would look. Unfortunately, it won't be running and everything, but still, it'd be a treat to see. So, let's do that. Oh, you nasty ass bastard! You fucking nasty ass motherfucker! That's nasty, man! And here it is. And this layout is huge and awesome. If I were a kid, I'd be in heaven right now. Finally owning this set really puts a smile on my face. Unfortunately, I can't get both of them running at the same time, but I have a solution. What's good, Nyuka? Further reasons to love this capsule play rail powered van. This thing is the definition of an alpha chad. Okay, enough of this. Let's get to what you guys really want to see. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm really happy to have this item in my possession now. But that's all I gotta say, so I'll see you guys on the flip side.